should have a pretty good scent trail from those does coming through. Arrange that first doe when she comes out. Right here. That's right at 40 yards. We got a big block of timber to the southwest of us. And then we're sitting on the one right here that's kind of to the northeast. And during the rut, those bucks like to travel from one big using this trail right here at 40. Sometimes they come up further to the south on the other end of this little finger right here. So we brought the decoy in today and got it right out here at about 15. Hopefully we can get a bigger buck to do what that one just did. showing a 78. It's pretty warm for November 3rd. But it's that time of year, I guess anything could happen. So we're gonna sit in here and see, see what shows up. check the trail cameras and it's a little bit of a hike. It's uh, November 5th today. It's not really the ideal time to be out on your farm messing around with trail cameras, but with the warm weather we had this week, the deer movement's been all but uh, completely, all nocturnal pretty much. So, so uh, with that, we're not gonna we're gonna try and get caught up on some real estate work that we got to do, and just save our time for potentially next week when the uh, weather's supposed to drop back off. But pretty good day, freshened up a couple uh, licking branches that we had set up. They were kind of annihilated, so went ahead and set those up. I know the deer aren't gonna be hitting them this time of year too much, but I just wanted to get that done while we were out here making a mess of things and spreading our scent all around. So we got the licking branches set up, updated the firmware on all the cameras, got those set up, set up a couple extra 
non-cell uh, trail cameras and then also hung a, a set uh, second stand in one of the tree stand locations that I'd like to hunt. I haven't hunted it yet but just about a week ago one of the target bucks I'm after was within 50 yards of that stand so we went in and put a second camera stand up above it so that we can try and film the hunt out of there this year. So that's what we did today. It was a pretty full day, jam-packed. Got quite a bit done. Hope we didn't mess the farm up too bad. We tried to stay as close to the cameras with the side-by-side -side as possible without, you know, walking around. We tried to limit our scent as much as we could doing that. And hopefully with the noise, you know, that would alert them long before we get there and blow them out. If, if they're gonna blow out, blow them out in a little more gentle fashion versus if they had smelled our scent or just seen us walking across the open field, so. Anyway, we'll, uh, time will tell if the cameras are working right. We're gonna give it a few days here and hopefully we'll start seeing some daylight pictures on our cams and we'll know time to, it's time to get back in here and start hunting again. Well, we just got our side-by-side -side picked up. We ended up shooting a buck tonight. Kinda called our shot a little bit on this one. A lot of luck involved too, though. We, uh, we just put a post out about this weather front that was coming through. It's still raining. But it's just been miserable this week for the first week in November. Always looking forward to those crisp, crisp cold mornings with frost on the ground. As a diehard bow hunter, you kind of live for those mornings. And this week here in Iowa has been miserable. It's been highs in the 70s and low 80s all week. And today, which is, I think it's the 8th, I don't even know for sure, but we got a a front coming through and the temperatures are dropping off as we speak a lot and this evening was going to be a just had a good feeling about this front coming through with this rain and temps dropping as warm as it's been all week I had a good feeling that it'd be a good night to be out so I actually took my son along and we went and sat on a blind right on the edge of a food plot and uh well it was kind of an ordeal getting in there <laughs> getting him dressed and ready and we were running behind. We got three closings this week for the real estate business. And uh, trying to get all those ready. We didn't even leave the house till 3.30. Takes half an hour to get down there. So it was four o'clock before we were even at the property. Had to get him dressed, get him to the blind, trying to be quiet because deer were already on their feet. We had seen a lot of deer moving on the way there. And uh, forgot my release on the way in. Got all the way to the blind, didn't even have my release. I was so worried about getting my son suited up and ready to go anyway we saw just a couple deer feeding around and all of a sudden peered down the this lane down into the food plot that we've got we just put a licking branch up last week one of the days it was pretty warm and windy we went out and messed with the cameras and got a couple licking branches freshened up and I just happened to look down out of nowhere this buck's just standing there making a scrape just going nuts on that fresh branch we put up so i grabbed my cell phone and handed it to my son who's six i tried to get him to record the deer while i tried calling at him and i think he got a few seconds of footage and then he started shaking too bad focus it touch the screen where the deer is touch it got to hold it still Couldn't hold it steady anymore but man it was cool i don't know if i would have shot the deer if my son hadn't been there but it's just been something that's been heavy on my mind this year that i wanted to try and get him as many experiences outdoors as we could and just really show him what it was like for me growing up my dad and uncle i mean they every spare minute they had they were in the woods and they always took me along with them and that was a time that i'll never forget and truly cherish because it's it's pretty much shaped who I am 
I mean, every spare minute I spend, whether it's, you know, I'm out hunting every spare minute I can. And the real estate business was all spurred because of my love for the outdoors and just our inability to access good private land growing up. Um, and there's a whole other story going in, you know, along those storylines. But anyway, I set my mind to this year, I wanted to get my boy out and try and get him some of those same experiences and uh, got him a good buck youth season and then I've had him out in the blind with me three or four times this year and tonight was one of those special nights where just me and him out there chilling in the blind with the rain rolling through and that buck came in just perfect at 18 yards and I couldn't really pass up the opportunity to shoot him with my boy along there right at my side so Bush at all? No, he was. I shot straight out this front window. Oh, okay. So he was somewhere right in here. Not the only blood is what was on the underside of the fletchings. Well, we definitely hit him. Let's say any sign blood is going to be nearly impossible to find. See that right here? It's just on the just on the underside of this little leaf here. I mean teeny tiny droplet. But that's the first speck of blood we've seen. This rain has just pretty much wiped it all out. But this is definitely the trail he ran down. only reason we're finding any blood at all is these leaves are turned like this and the blood is sprayed kind of underneath them and that leaf has protected the blood from the rain that's come down so we're basically having to get underneath the grass and look up for any blood at all this is the best blood we found in what probably 150 yards Right there. See him? So that's a pretty mature buck, man. Might be older than I thought. Look how stiff he is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that deer. He's better than I thought. Big old head on him. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look at that beam coming out there. Extra kicker here. Shot wasn't bad. 
right in there where I wanted it. Well, as you can see, we recovered the deer. It took a little effort. We had to cross this river back here behind us and the rain had pretty much washed all the, the blood away. So it wasn't really much of a track and more or less just a body hunt searching through the tall grass where the direction he'd ran off. But uh, we ended up getting him in the end, obviously. So this is a cool buck. It's, it's kind of unique anymore with the advent of trail cameras and how popular they are and how much we certainly use them that it's kind of rare to to find a buck or shoot a buck that you're you're unaware of and but this guy he slipped in here i'm not sure where he came from i've been hunting this farm for well this would be the fifth year i guess or fourth season now actually and uh i don't don't recognize the deer from past years i'll have to go back and look at pictures but this little bladed out spike coming off the front here and this extra extra point I, I saw that when he was down here hitting this lichen branch when he first came in uh, but I didn't realize this one was quite as long as it is so pretty unique character and then just how these beams sweep you know straight up just a really cool buck pretty special as I said before on the, on the drive down when I was talking about kind of going to look for the deer we I had my son with me tonight and uh, that that's the first buck he's been with me when I've shot. I, obviously I was with him this year youth season when he shot one but we've been out several years now and had him in the blind and it's pretty special to, to get him into the outdoors and have him along to shoot a buck like this. He's gonna be pretty pretty fired up when we get the deer home so he can take a look at it up close. But pretty solid deer. Food plots and all the work we put in this year paid off. This deer was hitting a licking branch right down here in this food plot we're setting in. We're only about 30 yards here from the blind where I shot him and come right into that licking branch, worked through the food plot and gave me an easy chip shot at about 18 yards. Cool deer. End of uh, the landowner tag, leg of the rut anyway, and now we're onto our statewide tag. So looking forward to getting out and hunting some other ground and seeing what other bucks we can catch up to this year.